In Illustrator, you can use simpler shapes and paths as the building blocks of more complex artwork by combining them in different ways. In this video, you're going to learn how to combine these shapes using the Shape Builder tool to create the final artwork you see on the right. To follow along, open this file from the Practice Files. To make sure that you see everything, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. You'll start by creating this main shape. Here there's a circle and a rectangle that are overlapping. They need to be combined into a single shape to give us this shape in the final artwork. Now to combine these shapes, you first need to select them. So with the selection tool selected, drag across these two shapes to select them. If there was other artwork underneath, you could also have pressed the shift key and clicked all of the artwork to select multiple shapes. To combine the shapes, you'll use the Shape Builder tool in the Tools panel on the left. So select the Shape Builder tool and drag across both shapes to combine them. You can tell what's about to be combined by the cross-hatching that shows. Also, the red outline you see reveals the final shape that will be created. Release the mouse button to combine the shapes. Besides combining shapes, you can also remove parts of shapes with the Shape Builder tool. These shapes need to be combined, and these top and bottom parts need to be removed to create an eye shape from the overlapping area, like you see over here in the final artwork. First, you'll select these shapes with the Selection tool. So select the Selection tool in the Tools panel. Drag across the two circles to select them. Select the Shape Builder tool in the Tools panel, and to remove parts of these shapes, press the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and you'll see a minus sign in the pointer. When you click, whatever's highlighted will be removed. So with the Option or Alt key held down, click the top part here to remove it, and then with the key still held down, click the bottom part to remove it as well. You can then release the key. Now you'll move this eye shape onto the other shapes to start putting them together. So select the Selection tool in the Tools panel again, and drag the eye onto the first shape you combined. Now you'll create this small moon shape you see in the final artwork from these two small circles. So select these circles by dragging across them, and to zoom in a little to make it easier to see, choose View, Zoom In. Select the Shape Builder tool in the Tools panel, and so that you can remove parts of these shapes, press the Option key on Mac or Alt key on Windows, and this time drag from the right to the left into the overlapping shape to remove those parts and leave a crescent moon shape. Release the mouse button, and then the key. Now you'll assemble all these shapes to make the final artwork. So select the selection tool again, and with this moon shape still selected, drag it onto this black circle. Then drag across both of those shapes to select them, and drag them onto the eye shape. To finish the artwork, drag this blue shape onto the other shapes. Now that you know how to combine shapes in different ways with the Shape Builder tool, experiment with your own artwork. Begin with simpler shapes, combining them to create artwork for logos, posters, whatever you need. Have fun with it. It's really amazing what you can create just by combining basic shapes.